This galaxy is kinda big. Well, yes, it's a galaxy. But if you only have a telescope at hand, you might want to think outside the box. Andromeda Galaxy is finally back in the night sky and I decided to finally get an image I can be happy with. I don't like my previous attempts. The biggest issue I have with these images is the field of view. M31 takes up the entire sensor of my camera, no negative space around it. Plus getting color in a galaxy from a light polluted backyard is kinda hard. You can share your experiences with this galaxy in the comments down below and let's remedy these issues by taking a mosaic image of Andromeda Galaxy. My plan is to take a 2x2 two two mosaic with 5 hours HA in each panel and 5 hours RGB in each panel. A proper resolution, negative space and color. Altogether 40 hours of Andromeda Galaxy. When you want to take a mosaic image of any deep sky target, the first thing you have to do is planning. Just like every time we do in astrophotography. You have to make sure that your panels have enough overlap to be combined in software. And at the same time you want to frame the target properly, just like you want it to be. I have used Stellarium before to eyeball the orientation and position of the imaging rectangle of the field of view and writing down coordinates. But there had to be a better way. So I took to my Twitter and asked about what other people use. The first recommendation was Nina. True, but I used the ASI Air, so I can't do that. I don't have a laptop up there. The second recommendation was Telescopius. I haven't heard of it before, but I tried it out once and instantly loved it. I haven't used many of the other features on this website, I just went over to the toolbox and the telescope simulator. I wanted to plan on Andromeda Galaxy, a 2x2 mosaic, click this button and it showed me this. Yeah, planning done. No, but seriously, this tool is just amazing. You can pan over the whole night sky and search for the object you want to. You can up here set your telescope specs and your camera's sensor specs and after that you can choose the mosaic settings. So a panel, a grid size, 2x2, 4x4 if you want to get real fancy. And most importantly you can choose the overlap. So in my case I would recommend at least 20% overlap in any mosaic image so that your software, be it Pixinsight or APP, has enough stars to register the images. In my case, the field of view as we see it right here, the galaxy is a tiny bit too small for my wishes, so I increased it to 45% and I loved this framing. So I took the coordinates which Telescopius is providing down here and entered them into the ASI Air. Do not image one panel completely for let's say 10 hours and then move on to the next. Make sure that all your panels actually have the right position and orientation. Right now I almost have the HA data of Andromeda Galaxy completed. In the last three nights I collected this data. And in the last night when I went to panel 4, I realized that between panel 3 and 4 there is an error. A slight misalignment, I don't know where it came from, but if I had checked this earlier right here, this could have been prevented. Now I have, I think, 5 hours that I will either use in the mosaic or have to shoot again. So use this for planning, but actually check in the first night if these panels are correct. As you can see, there is a ghost in my backyard. Nah, I'm kidding. It's just the ghost of a dead telescope mount. And some random dude who definitely ate too much during the three weeks he had to do six exams. But since that's over now, the cover can finally come off. The mount was at the ready from the last imaging sessions. This is night 3 of collecting HA data. Therefore the rig was already balanced to make for a quick setup. And please do me a favor and also balance your mount. 
If you don't, I and your guiding program will be very sad. The actual scope goes on, and since I did not like how the flat frames from the previous nights looked, At this point right here I realized that the computer was missing. No, not that pocket, that one. As soon as all the cables were connected, it's time to go dark. Well, not completely dark. The moon is quite full and the sky quite bright. I did not get a chance to image for the last three months and it feels very good to be back at it. The nights are short but warm and you can image in shorts and t-shirt and the setup with the ASI Air is done in 20 minutes or less. I've used the polar alignment routine very often by now and it's very easy to use. But the biggest advantage of the ASI Air, I can control my imaging sequence, the mount and everything else from inside. Well, I'm not inside as I shot this footage, but you get it. Focusing on Vega is pretty easy, with the filter of choice selected. I am using the Optolong L Extreme to split the HA data in post-processing. By combining that with RGB data from the L Pro, I hope to get more color in the Galaxy. And since the setup is so quick and the Galaxy does not poke its head out behind the tree until midnight, you know, no matter how many times I play through this game, I still love it to death. Even though I think that the beginning is quite boring, it gets way better towards the end. It's the day after and the HA panel of the mosaic is almost complete. Panel 4 just needs a couple more minutes, so I have 5 hours on every panel in grayscale. I am happy that I can share the intermediate image at the end of this video. And who knows, maybe the weather situation will hold until the moon is gone and I can pretty soon get my RGB data. It feels so good to be doing astrophotography again. And I decided to return with a bang. Alright Astro Addicts and that is it. I have to say, Andromeda Galaxy never gets old. I will of course share the individual panels from the HA data on my Patreon page, so head over there via the link in the description if you want to get your hands on that. If you want to see more, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, even though Instagram is a complete mess right now. If you liked this video and think you learned something new about astrophotography, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and as always, clear skies, it made the night be with us.